Thank Here we go, much. boys. Here we go. Yeah, welcome to Vintage Metal Works. <laughs> I'm Brian Bill Pitts. I'm Brian Rock. Nice, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So this yeah. is a car that, that he turned over at Bakersfield. That's correct. Because this is the Raider Wheels 2 then. Yes. Yeah. And there are the Raider Wheels up on the bench over there. Yeah. See, I saw that and I went, how could you I have the Raider Wheels get... special and no yeah. Raider Wheels? Come on. You got to be better at that. Uh, right? keep, keep looking. We're, You'll find them. We're doing yeah. it. Yeah. We got them, huh, Randy? Hey, there they are. There they are. Unmistakable, huh? Yeah. That's cool. Hey, Earl, can you tell me the story of how you wound up with this car? Because it's a pretty amazing story in itself. Yeah. Now, who built this chassis? Do you know? I had a flat car hauler trailer for sale. I put it on Craigslist. And a gentleman pulled up in a Dodge one ton diesel crew cab. Right. And in the back of that, was a 392 Hemi with a blower. Oh, okay. So we got to talking, and I found out that his son was working on this car and was looking to make it a possible cackle car. Okay. But they were moving to Oklahoma, okay. and he was taking his hot rod and his pro street car to Oklahoma. Right. So we got to talking, and his son goes, I don't want to take the drag strap to Oklahoma. Would you be interested in trading something for it? So I traded him a Jeep. For the dragster and the trailer, uh -huh. not having any real pedigree on the car, but right. he told me it belonged to Nando Hazi. Okay. So the name was familiar to me, and I began yep. to try and find Nando, mm -hmm. and I literally found Nando about six months later. But I had already made the deal with the car. Wow. So it's kind of a kind of a roll of the dice. Sure, sure. But, uh, did hook up with Nando, and we got the actual pedigree now with the car and. Certificate of authenticity and everything. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Now, you hit, you say that there's a stamp on the car itself. That there is. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, right up on the front coupler. Um, can you walk me up there and show sure. me? In the process of cleaning up the car and getting all the powder coating off, right? We found this stamp. Breading Engineering, Covina, California. And that is a very interesting birthmark. Definitely, definitely. Yep. Very good. So it's a George Breading chassis. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Very, very interesting. The car did not have a fuel tank, so we you had to make one up. We made one according to what Nando described to us. Okay. Nose tank. He said it was about two and a half, three foot long. We found the correct little breather and welded it in, and then of course the uh, the old school yeah snap cap. Wonderful. The uh, what's the wheelbase on this guy? Uh, about 156. 156 inches. Okay. We do have the original caps for the wheels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, they're they they're called Britting Engineering. He's got the BE engraved All right, great. So we're having all that restored. Oh, that's good. I'm 22 years old. Now, Nando, was he a big guy? Was he tall? Yeah, Nando's as big as me. He's 6'4". 6'4". Okay. Interesting. And Nando... Hence, hence the real tall roll bar. Yeah. Because the roll bar looks kind of yeah. high. Looks looks a little awkward, but, but that's because the guy that was in it was big and tall, right? It was more power. Wow. Yeah. And the, the, first, the first pass that I made with the Crower injector. We went to Carlsbad on a Friday night. That's when we won a lot of races at Carlsbad. I pull up to the starting line. I pull up to the starting line. Now, did you get this? Did you buy this Hemi from that I guy see, eventually? Or is this another one that you assembled? Uh, uh, when I the original I deal was made, it came with the block, the bare heads, like this, there was, a hot you know, heads intake with a polished blower. Like 
and a set of the polished Donovan the valve covers. Okay. So, so did it have the MT valve covers originally? No. I, okay. I had to source those. Okay. Them. Yep. Um, I found, I believe yeah. there's a set of hooker headers okay. from back in the day. Yeah. Um, I found the correct blower manifold. It's an Edelbrock B15. Mm-hmm. Kind of scarce. And okay. I traded yeah, the polished no, blower and had it, the guy out in Elsinore's, his name's Jeff Gaynor, he built me the satin blower at the polished ends, and we put a moon plate on the back, because that's what was on there. Okay. And uh, Good deal. Um, got the clutch can, all the clutches in it. It has a high gear shaft. It did come with the Mickey Thompson mag center section, which I'm really pleased about. Yes, the mag, yeah, the mag center section is really good. And Nando said this is the original seat insert, so that's really exciting that that survived all these years. Gosh, that thing's looking really good. Yeah. It's not much for padding, but it's, Nando said it was good enough for six seconds. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> original butterfly wheel. We, we've been mm -hmm. working on it. Um, yeah. The steering is a... Uh, work in progress, but I think we've got it where it needs to be, and then we'll weld it all back up. Now, is because I, you know, us old guys are dying off faster than whatever. Is he still alive? He's still around. No, is. Yes, he is. Now, where does he live at? He's out in Kingman, Arizona. Is that right? Yeah. I took the car out to him to validate that it was actually the car. Yeah. And when Nando saw it, he walked around it. It brought a tear to his eye, made me very happy. And he goes, where'd you find this? I said, it was out in Pomona, of all places. And uh, he sat in it. And he says, don't you cut that roll bar off. I had that made for me. <laughs> and uh, the car had a full body on it. That was actually on the car there. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and Nando goes, this was not a full body car, so whoever was putting it on was doing it because he wanted to yeah because he wanted to yeah this car was open rail well wasn't he from originally the pomona area yes, he roughly was. out there somewhere yeah, yeah I, I believe he went to high school right out here yeah because i kind of remember that he was kind of in the that yeah. general area of pomona yeah. yeah i'm really pleased that you and roland are going to be here today because i need a lot of input from you on what you think about what we've done because everything is just tacked in and we are not permanently welded out. Sure. Yeah. Um, the handbrake was recently made by the shop here. Okay. Right. And the master cylinder and everything. So I think we're good here. Yeah. Nando gave me the idea. He says, I had kind of a hand grip in there. Okay. Right. Um, the clutch is actually in and works. Um, I do have tin work that goes in here and, and Makes a really nice interior. Mm hmm Good. But I wanted you to tell me how everything looked as far as the steering, the clutch, the master cylinder. Um, well, like, one of the things with the clutch is, you know, depending on, you know, whether it's a two-disc or a three-disc, and it has the adjustment nuts on the back or whatever, right. depends on whether you can use a two-disc or a three-disc because, of course, the bell housings, you know, the normal bell housing would be a, you know, an eight and an eight, and you can only use, you can use a, a three disc clutch only if it doesn't have the adjuster nuts on the back for the springs, okay? okay. Because then if that it hits the cross shaft, okay? So then you need to just take a disc and a, and a floater, you know, a disc and a floater out. One of the things that, of course, was nice is that if you happen to have a can like I do that has the, you know, the inspection cover. Yes. It really actually is a big help when you're putting the clutch together because then you can look in there yeah. and see what kind of clearance you got on the throwout bearing and is everything going to work right. or not because you're able to look at it, you know, where when that, you don't have the inspection thing, it's, yeah. you're kind of, well, I, I think that's. You know, I think it makes it makes sense to actually cut it and put an inspection cover on it so that you have the ability to get into it so you don't have to yeah. you know take the car apart in order to find out I what's going on with the clutch Roland you made it hi buddy 
How are you? Doesn't take pictures of me. I'm supposed to hold up your home. You know what? You're sounding pretty good. You must have had the thing done, right? Good. Excellent. It sounds like it. Yeah. Excellent, man. Yeah. Really, really important. I, I, I can do a pretty good job of eating again. Good, good. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Hi, Rose. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Roland. How you been? Another train guy just appeared. Yeah. yeah. There's three of them here. Yeah. There's three locomotive yeah. engineers. Standing. Now listen, listen. If I need to know anything about <laughs> trains, I'm covered, right? That's right. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. You're, you're yeah, you are. The... Yeah, I'm a locomotive engineer. Yeah. Uh, you got the, you got you the serial go. number covered up. Sure. Tell us, tell us uh, your thoughts on everything, Roland. I mean, you know what what no. needs to happen here because. We mocked it up the best we can with the information Nando gave us, but there's not many pictures for us to work off of. So we are trying to get all the controls back in the car, and you know the motor and clutch are right where it belongs, which is good. But you know the uh, I'm going to need some kind of an in and out. Yes, yes. There's where you. That's where you contact. Um, uh, yeah, there's the cheapest way to The go. Hampshire brothers. Hampshire Ron, brothers. Ronnie Hampshire. You call Ronnie Hampshire. Yeah, he, and he'll he, make you one. He yeah. needs one. Bill. And it's the cheapest way I'm to go. Bill. Yeah. This is pretty short. He can set it up for that, that short of a uh, I don't know what. <laughs> it's, it's not much. It doesn't. Do you know how far the motor is out? What do we say? 25, 26? I think it's right in there, yeah. From, you know, from like the center of the rear housing. No, I think it was from the uh, differential. Forward. Where's your tape measure? You, you, obviously, you got to have a tape measure in the shop like that. <laughs> we, we got one. Good job. <laughs> because I'm trying to remember what, what Hampshire told me, how far the motor has to be out to use his, the in, his in and out his box. Deal. Yeah. And basically, what he does is he makes a deal where you've got a little handle, okay, and basically it unhooks the coupler, you know, and then it hooks the coupler back up again. And it's actually, uh, it's actually a pretty nice deal. And what he did was, which was actually pretty smart, he took the, was either the coupler? I guess it was the coupler. And he actually takes like about 15 thousandths or something off of the coupler and, and changes the angle, changes the angle of the teeth. So it makes it a lot easier for the coupler because as you might well know, is that that doesn't have to be off very far and it ain't yeah. going together. Yeah. It's not gonna go together. You know? So it gives it a chance to find so, its own. Yeah, beginning. so it gives it an easier yeah. chance yeah. because you know, this thing, you're at, you're at Bakersfield, it's bouncing up and down and whatever, and all of a sudden it moves 10,000, so guess what? Yeah. It won't go, it won't go back together. Around again. Yeah. It won't go very, back together. Very, very little tolerance. Oh, I know. Because if you see you guys up there trying to hook couplers up, they're, be, they're down there with two rocks. Yeah, it's like, it's like 27. They were trying to get the damn thing motor to go, wriggling the thing back and forth, you know, and, and it's just... Yeah, it's just a net no. I remember the first time I met you guys at the restaurant down in Temecula, and you told me the most important thing when you're setting the engine and the motor plates is to get that center dimension off that differential all the way through the crank and everything. Do you know that Brian's worked really hard diligent to make sure that to, to show got you that. to show you how that could be a problem and to show you how it doesn't take much to make it work or whatever. My buddy Sam Chastain, who has the iron horse, it's a 200 inch wheelbase, was one of the last front engine cars that Roy P.S. had made. Yeah. At that time, he didn't have the in and out box. He just had the, you know, the, the, the coupler. Right. So we were, we were down to do a show down in you know, Tucson. We plopped that thing. He says, oh yeah, it goes right together. We plopped that thing and plopped that thing. It didn't think we were actually going to... We didn't think we were actually going to... Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. What do we have here, Earl? Uh, this picture here, you guys probably all remember, is when Nanda won 
the Riverside Hot yes. Rod Meet. And that was oh, that his was crowning a, achievement. That was the major one, man. It, just, yeah. it, was, it, was, amazing. it was amazing. And here is Nando's plaque from that event that he still has to this day. Uh huh. Neat. Yeah. Very good. Very and uh, the blow up of the Hot Rod Magazine cover. Yeah, on the Hot Rod Magazine cover, yes. With Dean Moon present. Yes. Yeah. yeah that, was, that was major for him. That yes. was just major. Um, when I got the car, I obviously went out to validate the car with Nando. Very excited right. to even meet Nando. Right. And this picture is out there at Nando's place. I took the car with just the block. Right. And uh, Nando validated it. The front end that you've uh, already seen. Yes. And he validated the roll bar. He says, don't cut it off. And uh, very good, very yeah. Good. Oh, that's that's great. Here's Nando out at San Fernando Raceway. San Fernando, okay. This thing liked to go to the sky, didn't it? Yeah, wow. what's okay. interesting in that picture, he had the barn door injector, yeah, he did, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, this is an original Raider Wheels ad, which I just thought was appropriate to be with the car, sure, from 1965. Yes, perfect. And then, of course, uh, this is. Grant Rings, who sponsored Nando. Yeah. Mark Williams. There you go. And this was, uh, if you look at that, you'll see the bottom left-hand corner is the original Raiders wheel. Yep. And yep. then the top car is his new one. He was concerned because it was a shorter. Okay, very good. And what I'm probably most proud of, Bill, is the Certificate of Authenticity yes. signed and notarized by Nando Hansi. Yeah, that's, that's, that's major. So that is my... Yeah, idled and hang your hat. The car. <laughs> hang your hat on that one. Baby. Exactly. The pond. The pond. Yeah. Yes, yes Roland. And then, of course, this was Nando at Bakersfield. And he said uh, he believes that could even be the run when he rolled it, leaving the line. Wow. He can't say for sure he doesn't remember. Right. But that's out at uh, Bakersfield. Yeah. Okay. Very so, good. Super happy to have these. Of oh, course. these guys are jewels. Yeah. 16 by 11, which I guess are yes. kind of rare. Yes. I wish yes. they weren't double drilled, but they are. But yeah. That's okay. That, that They're race car wheels. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So Brian and I will take care of that. And I'm probably going to take your advice and put M&H uh, different tires like these. Yeah. yeah. I got those pie crust slicks. They're the 1016s. Yep. But, uh, They're 10s, huh? 10 hunters. Yeah. Let me go look at those. All the men didn't like the cheap stuff they were getting. Yep, 10 hundreds. Somebody's going to want to get those. <laughs> They're a little too skinny for the for a top fuel car. Yeah, you're no man. Yeah, I am. Yes. Yeah. Nando actually believes it's the original body, the shorty body. Okay. So, what a treat to have the original tin work yeah. for all these years. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. And we are in the process of finishing these. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep, very nice, very because nice. Because Nando had told us when he was at Bakersfield, these were not on the car. And his sponsor, Raider Wheels, wanted the name on the car somewhere. So this was supposed to say Raider's Wheels 2. Raider so Wheels 2, okay. That's where we're going with that. Excellent, excellent. Very, very good. Very minimal artwork on the body. It just said Hazy and Leonhardt. And Leon, Leon Hart was the guy who did the motor? Is he the guy who did the motor? Yeah. Okay. He had the winds on the back. Yeah. Friction proof yeah, attached yeah. on the back. Yeah. And then it was just simple champion spark plugs on the front. He didn't have his name on it, huh? He did. He had Nando stitched in here. Okay. Eventually. We're, we're probably going to do that. Eventually. Eventually. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Very good. I've got the, the gloves and the face mask and the fire mask. Yeah. Uh-huh. Have you, have you decided uh, helmet-wise what you're going to be doing? Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Were you able, able to see his helmet yeah. by any chance? I, I bought a, uh, a bell. 
mm -hmm. white open face helmet. Okay. And that's all he had. It had Nando airbrushed on the front. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we're good. We're pretty authentic. As, yeah, you as are. Close as we can get. I mean.